Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we made it to Stark Mountain and fought Mars and Jupiter one last time. They have both decided to retire from Team Galactic altogether and are now going to search for Cyrus in the Distortion world. How that will fare for them, I don't really know. And we may never find out. But in this episode, we gotta go forward and stop Charon because he's the last remaining member of Team Galactic who is still operating. So, let's see if we could follow him in here. We're gonna need strength and rock climb to get through here. Uh, if you wanna get all the items though, you're also gonna need rock smash, but you can't get all the items here on your first visit, so I'm gonna go through here with the intention of just getting out of here as soon as humanly possible, because we're gonna need to make two trips regardless. So, if we just run up this way, we got a full heal, which is nice. Do we actually need rock smash? I was gonna come back with it later. Ew, poopy. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Oy, do I go back and get someone, or do I just teach it to Cricketune again? Actually, Leafeon, I might have a move to get rid of Attract with. That'd be sad. Uh, let's see. Rock smash, rock smash, it's just 40 power physical. I mean, it's sort of the same as Razor Leaf, except it's weaker. It doesn't have the same type of attack bonus, and it's a different type, so it's not the same in the slightest. Hey. I'll... Uh, I'll go get Machoke. No, I don't want to go all the way back. I seriously thought we could get away with not using Rock Smash in this area. That stinks. Okay, then, Cricketoon. Your time to shine. Get rid of... Sing again. <laughs> You'll learn to sing once again in the future. Once I use another heart scale. It's not like I'm lacking in any of them. Okay. For this one singular rock, use Rock Smash. I guess it was worth it just to hear that over and over. Good strength. Oh, wait, we already used it. Uh, keep the rock right there so we can go back around and get this item, which is a full restore. And we go over this way, and we find ourselves a very spread out screen. And hey, look who it is. Hey, Jeffrey, wait up. So what's going on? What? Team Galactic's here? Gotcha. Let's team up and go together. Jeffrey decided to go with Buck. He is our final temporary party member. You won't regret teaming up. I'll keep your Pokemon healthy. So there's six different Pokemon stats, and there are only five of the temporary party members. I said each one of them specializes in a certain stat. The only ones left are defense and special defense, and Buck is a Pokemon trainer that specializes in both those stats. Uh, what Pokemon does he have exactly? He has... Da -da -da -da. A Clay Doll! Clay Doll is a very defensive Pokemon, so you don't have to worry about um, getting hurt a lot of the time. Also, with the fact that he heals you after every battle, which is also nice. So you can just run away from that, and we are magically healed. Now, I was I know for this room specifically, you don't need Rock Smash to get through here. So that's why I was playing out my route. And like I also know you only need to fight one trainer, or one double battle, to get through here in its entirety. So, um, I know usually I like to have all the double battles be with the partner character that I'm with but for this I think I'm actually gonna go out of my way to skip out on uh, the trainer battles because the only reason level ups exist at this point now is to strengthen myself up for when I fight the elite four again so it would make sense for me to fight all of them with my Pokemon rather than with somebody else so it would be easier for leveling up if I just went ahead and did them on my own so, for now, I'm just going to try and skip out on all the trainers in here. I know there's only one that we have to fight. And in case you're wondering, you cannot use Rock Climb when you have a partner with you. So, that is why we can't get all the items in here yet. So, we're going to need to go through here again regardless. So, uh, we'll do that when the time comes. But for now, I think this is our only trainer battle that is required. I hope I'm right on that. What do you expect to achieve here, Red Call? I'll be the one to make that call. We got this guy is all like, are you seeking the mythical Pokemon too? Let's battle then. Oh, this is the correct pathway. Let's see, we got ourselves a Dragon Tamer and an old man. 
This game's keeny. It's like a walking day or something like that. We got Eradicate here. Okay, we got some cool new different Pokemon. And see, the only time we'll ever hear me call Eradicate cool and different and new. Uh, let's use Fire Punch on Eradicate. And bacon? Bacon? Bacon. Eradicate. Whatever. And let's use a Crunch. That's not good for Claydol. Really not good. Okay, good. Uh, let's go ahead and use Fire Punch. I think Claydol has Recover, though, so it might be okay. Not entirely sure, though. Uh, okay, we got Eradicate in one hit. I'm always happy to see that, especially from Chimchar. Get that. We got a level up. Level 60. And let's see if we could one-shot it with Psychic, or if Buck can one-shot it with Psychic. We are... good. All right. See, I really like all the different uh, traveling companion characters. I wish that they had like a bit more of a prominent role in the anime because they were always the most interesting characters uh, to see. But whatever. Well, not really, because Diamond and Pearl's filled with a lot of interesting characters. But like, I don't know. They're most. I think in the game, though, they're a lot more interesting to see, and they have like really diverse teams and whatnot. But whatever. Of course, uh, we miss out on that. Singing Drift Blim. Uh, some Dragon Breath. That's not good. Let's see, can we not get paralyzed, please? Maybe, possibly. Ooh, okay, we're good. Uh, since I'm slower, let's go ahead and use that Drift Blim. That leads out tide speed. So I'm probably gonna be uh, jinxing myself super hardcore if I say this, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it anyway. I'm gonna attempt to finish recording Platinum today. Will that happen? I don't know. Only time will tell, I guess. And he's setting up light screen and reflect. Fancy. I'm a little worried about this because I, um, first of all, I don't know what the heck is up with me. I just think I drank water in the middle of recording, but whatever. Um, it's ground dragon type, so. Rock climb? Okay, he's going up in the air again, so it's a good move to, not, to attack Drift Blim. But, um, yeah, I. Uh, I'm a little worried that it won't work out entirely, but I would like to just get this done. And I'm really impressed with myself with how quickly I edited Platinum with how long the series ended up being and all the work that went into it. I'm surprised at how quick it was in the editing process. I just gotta like give immense, massive thanks to Mr. Chris Mad for creating all the bios because that saved so much stinking time. It's not even funny how much help he did for this LP, so I very much appreciate it. Uh, see. Okay, Chicho's gone, unfortunately. I like the shell gun spray. It looks really cute from this angle. Uh, let's see. He's going to use Psychic on Drift Blim. Hopefully, we can take it out so we don't have to deal with it anymore. Uh, it's pretty slow HP scroll. Yeah, not quite. There goes Dragon Claw. Uh, let's see. I will go with Obama Snow against these two would be really good. Also, I can't remember if Blizzard hits in the air or not. Pardon me, it doesn't think it does, but it might. Like, it's it should make sense. Which is the, exactly why it won't happen. But I'm going to try it anyway. Also, I taught it uh, Energy Ball off camera. So we can finally make use of Grass Attacks without hurting ourselves, which is very nice. And he's probably definitely going to go for us, though, which is unfortunate. Okay, down goes Shell Gone. Yeah, 100 power, 120 power Ice type move that has 100% accuracy in a double battle. So, Obama Snow is very much a force to be reckoned with in this area. Let's see. Take a little bit of damage, though. A little bit of damage, a little bit of damage. So, the hail could hit you off camera, but the blizzard can't. Okay, sure. Also, he's the person on the left is out of Pokemon, it seems. Uh, it doesn't really change much. Uh, go use Blizzard. I probably could have used a different move just to like, save on the PP, but we get fully healed after the battle anyway, so it's not too big of a deal. There we go. Also, he missed. That was awesome. Down goes Drift Blim. It's probably the longest that Drift Blim's ever been on the field, but whatever. Uh, hail continues to fall. Take a little bit of damage, and up next is one more Pokemon. It's a Shift Tree. It's Wooden Clogs of Glory. Uh, let's try Blizzard again, I guess. Just such a weird Pokemon having, like, the clogs built into its feet, technically. So, like, imagine just having, sh like, being born with shoes that you can't ever take off. And just remind me of, like, Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. But, um, what does that go? I was looking at the Pokken tournament character models again, uh, recently, just for the heck of it. And it just gives you an idea of what Pokemon would look like if they were realistic and whatnot. I know that Detective Pikachu did that as well, but, um, there's... 
of artwork of Sylveon, and when you take a look at it and just take a minute to think of what it would be like and what it would feel like if it was real, those ribbons aren't accessories. That's flesh. You ever take a minute to think about that and how creepy it would be? Uh, whatever. You've earned the right to be here, both you and your Pokemon. There's nothing left. Jeez, so depressing. <laughs> you okay, buddy? Let's go ahead and not uh, evolve. Hopefully that was the right way. Uh, we got an item. A max revive. That's really nice, but that's the exit right there that we need to get to. But it doesn't seem like that was the right pathway, unfortunately. So we fought those trainers for nothing. Great. Uh, let's see. Is there anything over here? Nothing. I want to use my bike, but we can't use that either because Buck is with us. Huh. There's nothing over there. Hooray for me not knowing where to go in this big, massive, honky jonky area. Uh, let's see. Let's try this way. This looks promising. Yeah, this is it. Okay. These are the trainers we need to fight. Oh, wait, we can't use Rock Climb. So this is no point. So maybe I couldn't have gone through here without Rock Smash. I don't know. Let's just use it. Do that. I'm surprised they're not like, oh, you can't do that with a partner here. It's too dangerous or something. Huh? Huh? Huh, maybe we do need to fight these guys. Okay. Uh, I will switch to... Everyone's level 60. I'm proud of you. I'm level 61. Overachiever, you. Uh, let's see what we got. No one's really close to a level up. I'll switch to Leafeon. We haven't seen you in a while. And hey, we can show off Seed Bomb for the first time. Why not? Uh, Dragons and Fiery Mountain. Dragons and a Fiery Mountain. It's a totally classic setup. Is it really, though? Uh, hear the howl of my iron fist. Howdy! I'm crazy for karate. Imagine his fist just saying howdy. Like, that's the roar that you're talking about. Just a yeehaw. Uh, four Pokemon. Not as long as last time, but whatever. Got Gibble and Machamp. I wish I had Machamp. I was really excited to show off Machamp. It was going to be, like, such a nice thing to show off in the end how my team is fully evolved or whatever. But unfortunately not. We'll try Steed Bomb on... Gibble. Let's see that. Hopefully it does good damage. Can we get a one-hit KO for your first time using it? Good job, Leafeon. That's awesome. I'm so happy I could have I was able to teach it to you in the end. Okay, so that's good. Maybe I won't even need to get to Oh, why do you have fire punch? Maybe we won't even need to get to level 71 by the end of the LP, so I can just stick with this. Or maybe I really do need to level up. Oh god. And we're on fire. How wonderful. I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Ah, ah, ah. Okay. It's got Dragonair next. Claydol, what did you even do? I was waiting for like a. It was a perfect time for a sidekick and you didn't do it. You didn't deliver, buddy. You see Bomb on Machamp, even though it's not going to do that much because our attack is cut in half. And there goes a light screen. Okay, your walls are set up. Now please contribute to the battle. Down goes Leafeon. And hopefully. Uh, Ice Punch. God darn it, that's not good. Uh, okay, not too bad. Let's try... Uh, Bomb of Snow again, probably. It's our best bet, because Blizzard is OP. So I'm just gonna keep on going through here. Uh, Blizzard. Blizzard. Blizz, Blizz, Blizzard. Got that. So, uh, I've had a lot of... I've seen a lot of interesting talk recently regarding uh, Paper Mario the Origami King. I know I already talked about it a bit uh, in a previous episode, so I'm not going to repeat myself too much, hopefully. But apparently people are liking it, but like, I hate that I can never trust whether or not people are actually liking it, because there are certain, like, especially with like Nintendo fans who will say that something is amazing just because it's being overhated, like with Sword and Shield, people were saying it was like the best Pokemon game. And I've looked back at my review, and like I definitely liked it a lot more uh, after just finishing it, but then when I took some time to just think about it afterwards, I was just like, this wasn't super great in the long run when I think about it in the grand scheme of things. I think that's the case whenever I finish a game. If I really liked it, I'll glorify liking it, but then, or I guess like if I just moderately liked it, I'll glorify how much I liked it, and I look back on it with happier memories or whatever, but then it turns out to be not as great as I remembered. 
like with Skyward Sword, I thought it was amazing. And I do like things about it, but going back to it for a second time, I did not enjoy it nearly as much the second time around. But then with things that I wasn't crazy about, like stuff that I thought was kind of meh, when I look back on it, I have happy memories with it and associated with it. And I'm just like, oh, maybe that wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Or maybe uh, I want to go back to it someday when I was thinking I would never would. But with Origami King, I don't know what to make of it because people are saying like it's amazing and whatnot. But I don't know if I could trust them or not because I don't know if they are saying it's actually a good game or if they're just saying it's better than Color Splash. I don't want to play it if it's just better than Color Splash. Just like how I didn't want to play Color Splash because it was better than Sticker Star. I want it to be a good game. But people will never tell me that uh, straightforward or not, if it is or not. So that's unfortunate. But uh, another thing that's unfortunate is that like people assume, I guess, because everyone hated the game upon its initial announcement and reveal that no one would play it, so they decided to spoil one of the biggest twists of the game. So, it's been a massive stinking spoiler going around, and I can't comprehend why you would post that online, and like, that just makes me not want to play it even more, basically. Like, any emblems of hope I had on whether or not I would play this game, it's just completely gone now because of people who are spoiling something about the game. And I know the game leaked early, which is another thing that was unfortunate, but like, people are just buttheads and I don't like spoilers. Whatever. Speaking of buck... buttheads? Buckheads? I don't know. Here we are! Team Galactic is inside, right? This is it. No fooling around. Okay, see ya. Okay, no, not really. Go in here. Cyrus disappeared. Mars and Jupiter quit. Saturn said he would look after the remains of Team Galactic. But he won't join me. So foolish of him. So very foolish of the rest of them. Throwing away Team Galactic. After all the effort we took to put a team to make it grow, that power could have made us rich beyond imagination. But enough of that. The Magma Stone will be mine. Hey you, Team Galactic, what's going on here? Eh, what's this then? Chase me here, have you? I like seeing children try their best, but too bad for you, you're too late. With the Magma Stone, I will awaken the legendary Heatran. I will control the volcano's eruptions to extort money by the millions. Fear me, for I am Charon, the boss of the reborn Team Galactic. Go, go, go! Go, go, Power Crow Gunk! No, the Magma Stone! What? What is going on? Excellent work, Crow Gunk. Paw! Disguising myself as a boulder for, uh, for stakeout was not easy. And they said all those years of being the tree in the school play wouldn't pay off. Now, old-timer, the International Police cordially requests your cooperation. I'm sure you have much to tell us about the new Team Galactic. With Cyrus, Mars, and Jupiter gone, you are all that is left. Hey, it's the International Police! Yeah, it's the International Police, alright! There's only one thing left to be done. Run away! Run away! Gah, what a mess. Uh, International Police? What are you saying? I know nothing. A new Team Galactic? Extorting with Heatran? Merely the blathering of this harmless old man. All said in jest. Besides, among Team Galactic's commanders, I was the most junior. Look, you- Or no, the looker's the same look, he's just looker. You can tell us all about it. We have plenty of time. Oh no no no, no resisting arrest. You can't win three on one, no. Okay officers, over here if you will. He is an old man. This heat cannot be good for him. Quickly take him to somewhere cool. Yes, the cooler will do. Taking him to the cooler? Uh-oh, what is this, like, the boiling pot? Whatever it was called, where Sokka and Zuko had a bromance, and was like, that's rough, buddy. Jeffrey, and you, unfamiliar boy, I wish to say something. First, it is too hot. Let us exit this environment. Woo, the air outside is delicious, yes? Greg... Ga gef bleh. I have inhaled the volcano gash by the lungful. Now, you two, this is what they have they were after. The magma stone. Moving this is said to awaken the Pokemon Heatran. The old tales say that it's awaken say that it's awakening, it will start it will make Stark Mountain erupt, Jesus Christ. But I have moved it. It is here. Will this cause the eruption? Hey, don't sweat it. It's hey, don't sweat it, stranger. Nothing wrong with a little eruption. Give me that magma stone, I'll go put it back for you. 
That boy, he has quite the energy, yes? Jeffrey, I should tell you why I've arrived here. After we partake, after we parted at the Mount Coronet, he actually says the Mount Coronet, okay. I investigated their hideout. I uncovered Charon's plot, which led me to a stakeout of this place. That Charon is now securely within our custody. It is safe to say that Team Galactic is a threat no longer. That being said, it looks like my work here is finally finished. Hey, stranger, I put the magma stone where it belongs. I'll be okay now. Heatran won't wake up. Probably. But hey, Jeffrey, you're an amazing trainer. Swing by my place later. It's in the survival area. But be seeing you, stranger. Jeffrey, bye-bye. How'd you run over there so quickly? I also will take my leave. The more wonderful the meeting, the sadder the parting. That is a quote I have heard many years ago in a foreign land. Its meaning, I understand it better now. Farewell, Jeffrey, my friend. Long may you cherish Pokemon. <sighs> Perhaps we'll meet again one day. Thank you for all of your help. Now that we've put an end to Team Galactic once and for all, once we go back to the survival area after Buck has told us to do so, we can actually meet him up over there and we can actually do stuff in the survival area now. So, once we get rid of this stinking Fearo, we will be good to fear go. Not good with these catchy one-liners, as always. Here we are at the survival area once again. And look who's here. Yo, but it isn't Jeffrey. This, it's my place. Drop in, hey? That was a weird compilation of words. I was like, compilation? Hey, Jeffrey, you are the only one getting tougher. I'll prove it to you. Let's go. No, 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 no. I didn't mean I didn't. I didn't think you would battle me right now. Oh, 